Egyptian, and the three sisters talk to the seven sisters, which is a moon flip to a Pleiadian knot, in order to resolve the matter of the Pleiadian light lot that was secured by an Arcturian agreement at the Galactic Council. That we can't get under this shit unless one of us, organics to the earth, figure the solution to the problem by understanding all of the areas of people activity and how to effectuate change. One of us. We don't all have to do it. Just one of us. But part of the problem is the one that discovers it now has to be on a Paul Revere ride across the nation instead of saying the British is coming, the organics is coming back. They coming back home to serve eviction notice on all of the squatters on the land. That's a knock to Dan Calloway, by the way. Because my, my cousin, Big Ray, and Ray is the Dane that they give chiefs. They name him Ray, and they name him Son. And the one that they call Big Papa is called the Big Son, because his son is always named after him, and he the little son, or when they call him by his name, whatever his father's name is, he the little that. Mm -hmm. So you got John, which is Uncle Johnny, and his son is Little John, right? So when we know how to read the language, my cousin flipped to me that the life is a game and he who dies with the most toys win. All you got to do is slow down. You already ain't scared to look in a book to find the solution. Follow that pattern and repeat until you get to the victory lane. My mama said the race don't always go to the swift. Sometimes it go to the slow. So watch the tortoise and the hare. So she flipped me because I always say I'm slow as a turtle. So it's a turtle nation knock off of a gorilla's back. You can't help it. They got to return everything they fucking took. All we got to do is get the message out to our people that it's over as soon as they do what I was forced to do during this beginning of this stuff. Divorce yourself from the fallen system lest you get drugged down with it. Most people can't do that from fear. But Big Mama told me, fret not thyself evil doers. For years I walked through the valley of the shadow of death, I should fear no evil. Well, I told her, well, not only will I not fear no evil, I will destroy all evil that oppose my ability to impose righteousness across the land. So bring it on if you want to play. I'm a ghetto boy. It's make my day. Right? So when we um when we get to the real root of what's going on, I couldn't always tell people what I knew because I needed a way to tell it to them on their own level where they can digest the information and use it to their greatest advantage. The greatest advantage is this process that we are under right now because the sisters started separating themselves from the system July the 4th, and when a sufficient number of them separate, it's over whether the men do it or not because we're going back to matriarchal rules, the children first, family first, and the rest of that shit can take a backseat to hell. We don't want it if it's not benefiting the collective. I think it's um, interesting that the movie that's coming out, I don't know whether it's coming out in, is it before the summer's over or in the fall with um, the, the warrior queens or whatever. I think it's very interesting. Um, actually, that, I, I that, haven't seen that movie, Dr. G. The trailer, well, it's not out. It's not out, but the trailer is like, it makes you like yes, you know. It, it to me is it, it, it even puts uh, Black Black Panther on the on the on the back burner because it's like Queen. The way they call them queens, but you know we know what Queen means. But it's, it's melanated sisters fighting and destroying, doing exactly. I think it's a metaphor for what needs to happen in the spiritual realm. Not only is it a metaphor, it's rooted in historical facts. Right. Here's a historical fact. When the men couldn't get the job done on the battlefield, mm -hmm. the women got the job done. And so just so that people can have a reference to what I'm talking about, research Anne Zinga. Queen Zinga, yeah. Re research Queen Makita. 
and researched the Candace Queens. When they said Alexander conquered the world, when he ran into the Candace Queens, he made a sharp left turn and went into the Indus Valley. He didn't want no parts of that. Right? When the and Zing, her brother, the general of the military, kept getting his ass handed to him by the Dutch and the Portuguese. She gave him a final warning before a battle. She said, if you lose this battle, don't come home. I'm going to take over the army, and I'm going to show you how victory is won on the battlefield. And he went to go fight the Portuguese and the Dutch. They handed his ass to him. The scout came back that she sent to follow him and said they're getting their ass handed to him. As they was in retreat from the battlefield, she passed them on the battlefield going to the fight. Mm. She was kicking their ass so bad they wanted to negotiate. But they wanted to humiliate her by making the woman stand up. She got gorillas for bodyguards. We don't play that. You're not going to disrespect this sister. i be her seat. She can sit on me because you ain't going to look down on her in my presence right so mm -hmm. the man becomes a proper support even in, even in the secondary position <clears throat> you still got to be the proper support for the sisters and when we can't get the job done we have to recognize big mama got a group of girls that she sent in at the end as the final cleanup crew and they tear this motherfucker up with the laws of nature they don't they're not finna go fight you with their fists these are final, you don't want this, this part to happen, but you will know if it do, because it's going to be the most beautiful storms you've ever seen tearing shit up coast to coast, 360 around the globe. Right? It's a hurricane, but it's pink lavender with lace swirl around it. Who's seen that shit before? This how that's they, why they, they call they, it what? A hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> But we, we in the in the ancient days we used to call it the most beautiful destructions because the, it'll be a um, a hailstorm what they call gorilla hailstorm with fist size hail balls falling and it might be lightning in purple green and lavender tints of uh, electrical boat in the middle of the storm and it looks so sweet you don't want to go in but the the hail balls get to hit you you can't stay out there. <laughs> Right, but you want to see it, but you know it ain't safe. Right, right. That's how right. you know when the when the final wave finally hit, when Big Mama finally turned her her big girls loose. Mm -hmm. You have heard the saying, um, "Put on your big girl panties." Um, you're you're breaking up again. Can you hear me now? Yes. Somebody had called in and interrupted my feed. Okay. Stop calling him. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the, you ever heard the term "put on your big girl panties"? Yeah, yeah. That's what it. They all make. Yeah, when it get real, when it get real, you gonna have to deal with this ish. Yep, you are gonna yeah. have to put your big girl panties on and like don't go make out. them. Don't make them sisters put on their big big girl panties. Talking about earthquakes. <laughs> so when they say put on your big girl panties, this will this, this way it's a certain energy that the women lock on to when they dance and they shaking their hips. It's called the sway of the matriarchs. They can make mockery of it in the Dumbo movie. And you see mm -hmm. the elephant swaying back side to side. Mm -hmm. I actually posted some sisters doing it in Africa, and they all dressed in blue dresses. I think that's on my morpheus page but it might be on my um my uh rod hayes facebook because they deleted my other rod hayes off instagram but the, the dance is a conjure it's only to cause earthquakes and the more of the grand matriarchs in order to be a grand matriarchs they have to have a certain amount of prestige as among matriarchs Men don't rank the matriarchs, they rank each other by most love, most respected. And the ones who reach the top become Big Mama's representatives, ambassadors to Earth. 
And when the daughters of Earth is subjugated, they the last line of defense um, after they send me. And y'all don't want them sisters to come out because when them earthquakes hit, they don't just shake local areas. They shake land masses. So I got videos already in the past where I was talking about the women in the marching of the matriarchs. Uh, the march of the mayors is a 50 sisters conjure that was done in order to ensure that they can't lose. Once they done that, it was over with. It's just a matter of the magnitude of the events is going to cause a certain amount of time for it to come from spirit to physical because a global change is so huge. The minimum amount of time on the turnaround is three years. And that's why when we close the contract out July the 4th, 2019, it took three years for the women to decide to begin a migration away from the old systems around the world. What we don't know in America, in the mainstream media is never going to cover it, is they still watching what's known as the Soviet uh, uh, Republic of China, the SRP. They not in power. The Republic of China ran by the matriarchs took over three years ago and I had posted it when it happened because I had to put it in the public domain so when I tell people I've already reported on it's nothing new every one of these countries now is working on restoring their original matriarchal order it's just that we the last ones left when well, you but, have a lot of them look I mean quick wisdom but you have all these mayors I mean like a prime minister uh what uh Boris Johnson uh resigned and 50 they said ministers resign all over you know that the, the legend guy in japan was murdered I guess, allegedly or maybe not maybe it was a show but all of these you see all of these leaders either stepping down or being brought down for some reason or another i mean this is this is a lot happening at the same time so it is a signal of something of change definitely right so in corporate america the women is taking over the um ceo positions it's not that the men are not allowed to have CEO positions. It's just that they have to first make it a new culture at the CEO position to have the interest of everybody in the company at heart when decisions is made. And women does this naturally. So Mary Barra from General Motors is leading the matriarchal um, um, reclaiming of the corporate America from the secret societies that was ruling it. And that's on the corporate side. On the political side, there's key women, all of them not revealed, in political places that's going to be making statements to reveal that the matriarchy is back in control. All this is going to just unfold after we see what happened with the tribunals that's going on with the deep state scenario. All that's got to come out to the public domain. And um, we going from Aquarius, I mean, from uh, Pisces believing to knowing in Aquarius. And we at the part now where we beyond the 50% mark of the year. Listen, I don't, I, I'm going to see how I can say this because I don't want, I saw a video and it, I don't know if it's still on YouTube, but somebody, I think, either sent it to me and, but I, I was looking at it on my television. And literally, they have a video out with the guy of HB, you know, the son, and with excerpts from the laptop, the laptop, and the parts they they trying to show it so you don't look, but you can see literally what pretty much what's what's going on in that. And I'm thinking if this don't make some changes, I mean, it should have happened before his father got in. But nevertheless, I mean, somebody has a video out there, like a, a little music video, they're calling it, and they have clips from it. Literally, I don't know if anybody else has seen it, but um, I saw it yesterday, and I was yeah, like, yeah. can you I, hear me? I, I, I couldn't hear you. you. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Dr. G? Yes. Okay. So I've been telling 
I've been telling people for about um, about three months now. Watch the Hunter Biden laptop so you don't get caught off guard, because it's gonna it's the straw that broke the bull's back. It's out once they once they entered into congressional evidence. That was the public notice that it was going to be the source by which they expose everything. So now they slow leaking clips from the laptop as a uh, indicator of what's to come. And they're doing this because they have to uh, soften up the people so they don't take it so hard when they realize how deep this rabbit hole went for us to reach the bottom and clear it all the way out. <clears throat> the Biden, uh, the, the laptop, I'm not going to say nobody's name, but right. the laptop is going to trigger another laptop scenario in a different file out of New York. Um about some child sacrifice that's going to also expose or it's going to come out in a cross section of information between the uh, uh, Maxwell House trial, um, which was coded, by the way, just so I didn't get to The coffee trial, yeah, I guess. Right, so her trial and the laptop scenario or the two laptops gonna all end up converging at the pizza parlor if you get what i'm saying i get you so while they exposing what's going on at the pizza parlor that's gonna be the shock and awe in the last hurrah to give the people the inside scoop and this is when we're gonna start having 24-hour tribunal tv showing us all of the people that's been tried and what they've been tried for crimes against humanity human trafficking sex trafficking drug trafficking arms trafficking all kind of stuff from all over the world you're gonna have high high uh figures of society um uh, being dirty laundry drug out in the open because the military uh strategists say if the incoming king wants to win favor with the people after he thwarted the conspiracy he dragged the conspirators out before the people and laid the conspiracy bare so that the people can understand the doom that they were rescued from and they become supporters of the king as he restored the land and the water and the air the people not gonna never support you if you don't show them the ugliness that you went through and on the behalf of the people in order to restore everything right mm -hmm. so while we doing public notices to the grassroots because that's all we doing with these conversations trying to educate the grassroots on how to see beyond the charade to see the show going on behind the scenes so I had to break it down into what you call bite-sized morsels and throw a couple of colorful epithets in there because to be politically correct when the politics they got you they got you breaking up again. Can you hear me, Rod? Because you're breaking up again. I can't. We are ready to close in just a, in a, just a bit, y'all. I pre I appreciate each and every one of you all. If you came in late, because I see a bigger number than there was before. If you came in late and you didn't see the beginning of this video um this interview i want you to go back and give it another look and and share it because i it, this has been very very um eye-opening and and a look into the life and the background of, of brother rod hayes how he how he has gotten to the place where he is now because so many people have been focusing on just what he says and no not as many have been you know knowing the man behind what the man says. So we appreciate you all for um, being on here. You're 1300 plus strong. And that's a good thing. I want you to uh, like if you haven't. Please subscribe to this channel. 
And I want to say this to you, um, brother, brother Rod, whatever you want to finish, try to get it in right now before they block you, and then I'll do the thing <laughs> bringing you up. So whatever you were saying, look, go on with it. Okay, so this is where we at at the end game. We really, really, really past the end game now. Um, so what we need to be looking for is uh, a sudden dump of information. This going to come all at once because it's been held back and it's now it's been seeping out in little clips. So that's like a leak before a dam break. That little sprout of water in the cartoon before it ruptured the whole dam. And you can't mm -hmm. stick no, you can't stick your finger in there and plug this one up, right? <laughs> right. So the the exposure, uh, based off of the messages I'm getting, is it's imminent, um, but I can't give a date because I'm not allowed to see the future dates. I can only read the real time. And then I can do a mathematical probability. I can also do what they call a uh, stellar alignment probability, according to the alignment of the stars. But for those who want more information, you can ask the oracle readers, the card readers, and the psychics, because at the time,